Hey guys, it's Logan again. Have you guys ever wondered what to do with a bunch of shirts that you guys don't really need anymore? Well, here is a cool new idea. I call it the Bow Racerback Tank Top. And if you guys want to know how I did this, just keep on watching. So, the things that you will be needing is liquid stitch fabric glue, you can find this at Joann's, and some scissors. And of course, t-shirts. Lots of t-shirts. Now, when you first get your t-shirt, lay it out on a flat surface, and then you're going to fold it in half. And make sure that they align and they are even, and just smooth it out. The first thing you're going to be doing is cutting off the arm sleeves. So, just take some scissors and snip them away. When you've finished doing that, just put the t-shirt back into its uh, full form, I guess. And then you're going to take your scissors and cut around the little band of the neck. Then you're also going to be cutting the band on the bottom of the t-shirt as well. But don't throw it away because you're going to need it later. You're also going to be cutting some part of the t-shirt. This is completely optional. I just wanted the little logo to be on the middle of the shirt instead of uh, with the excess fabric. And I have a tiny torso, so smaller shirt is better for me. I'm going to put the shirt on the back side, and then I'm going to be cutting out the racer back design. When you cut this, make sure you're only cutting one layer instead of all the way through the second layer as well. Now that I am done with that, I'm just flipping it back to its front side again. And then I'm going to be making little snippets, and I'm making two on each side. And then after you cut the sides, you're going to flip it so that the side is facing you. This is going to be easy for you to make the bows. Make sure you stretch it out a little bit. And then remember that little band that we cut off earlier? Well, we're just going to be using that little strip and then cut about four to five inch pieces. And you're going to need six of them. So uh, here are my little six pieces of the band fabric. This part is really easy. What you're just going to do is you're just going to take the little strip of fabric and wrap it around the little rectangular square thing that you cut off. And then when you just tie the little knot around it and pull tight, then you have a bow. Super easy. You're also just going to do that to all the little snippets that you have. So turn the shirt to the other side, and then you're going to do three more bows on that side as well. Now remember that little fabric that we cut off underneath the front logo? Well, we're just going to cut a little section. We're going to cut half of it off. And then from that half, we're also going to be cutting another half. So technically, we're only using a fourth of that fabric. Step. Now I'm going to take the liquid stitch fabric glue, and I'm going to fold the fabric into itself, and then I fold it in again. And then I'm going to be taking that fabric underneath the little racer back area, taking the liquid stitch, putting it on the ends, making the two ends meet together. And then you're going to make sure you pat that fabric glue down tight and then flip it so that the little seam is behind your shirt. Now the concept of this is exactly the same. You're going to take a little strip of the band fabric, wrap it around, and then you're going to make it into a little bow. Um, and that's it guys, you're done! This racer back bow tank top thing is completed and I really hope you guys liked this tutorial. It was a stop motion-esque and I thought it was really fun to film. It took a while but it's all good. 
And if you guys did like it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to. Share it with all your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!